All right, well, I wanted to take a moment and introduce you to the study of art history. When I was younger, I used to think history was boring because I didn't realize how much it greatly affected the present. And you know, the more I study art history, the more it's just enhanced my life. And I mean, I, I go to an art museum and it's not just a bunch of dead things on walls. The, the works are alive in the sense that they continue to teach and they continue to speak. You know, they call out to us from the walls. They implore us to stop and to stop and consider their cultural moments and what they cared about. And, and we can make so many connections with the present. And that's because historical artwork can still inspire and can still teach. And if we want to make a better society, we must consider things through the lens of history. Marcus Garvey once said that a people without a knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. So history is important to a growing and healthy society. And I truly believe that art history is one of the best ways of looking at our past. And that's because it's in art that you find the heart and soul of a culture. You, you see what's really significant to a culture and what they really cared about. And so images in art history is like looking at the photo book of time. And although we've been looking at art historical examples throughout this entire course, this last section of the class really takes into account uh, the cultural context in which many of these works were made. And so we're going to move through a brief timeline of history in order to make some important connections to works of art. And that's because in order to really understand a work of art, you have to understand it in its context. Uh, you have to consider the intentions of the people who made the work, who paid for the work, um, how the work functioned, and all of the, the context in which contributed to its creation. And for those of you who thought history was just a bunch of dates and names, you know, maybe looking at these images will really help bring it to life. So join me as we take an amazing trip back in time and, and look closely at the context of all of these incredible works of art through the lens of art history.